welcome back everybody the pro spartan gamer here with more sp spartan series on pez 2015 and this is just a one highlight package against sunderland in episode 86 because after that it's the big four live comms against the big boys as it hots up in our race for perhaps a, a premier league title in our first season here in season three in the prem but i've been promising you an update on career stats and some graphics so as we've only got the one game, I thought this was a good chance to do it. We have played 30 games now in the Premier League, so only eight remain. Um, and I can just give you a rundown. Obviously, this is this season's stats you're seeing here on the on the on the screen at the moment. But other people who have been here longer than just this season, I will go through you with them. So Minna, now he has now played 70 games for the Spartans. He hasn't managed to score a goal, but he has two assists. So that's Minna, 70 appearances now in a Spartan shirt and many more to come, I'm sure. Brooksy, alongside him, is his second season here with the Spartans. So he's played 63 times now. He also has two assists, even though he's got none this year. Mexican Penna, as it's his second season. 66 appearances now for the Mexican. 30, um, no, 34, four goals. He's managed and eight assists. No goals for him in the Premier League, which would be a big disappointment. Top goal scorer for the club so far and top appearances goes to Majika. He's in his third season, don't forget, with the Spartans. 115 appearances for him now. A magical 59 goals and an incredible 30 assists now from the boot of the young Argentinian. Here's one that a lot of people will be interested to hear. And these stats are phenomenal, to be honest. You might not think he's had the best season this year in the Premier League. But JM69, Jerry Mbaku, has got some fine career stats at the Spartans. 53 appearances now. Some of them off the bench has got his worth adding. He now has 34 goals and an incredible 21 assists, which is really good. I mean, he's played only half the games that... Majika's played and he's only nine behind in assists so incredible record for JM69 really. Ragnar Lovebook in his third season Leo Batista not had a lot of game time this year really a lot of his off the bench hasn't managed to hit the net either this year but he now has 91 appearances um, 13 goals and nine assists. A couple others there that are this year Bacarly, Brumer and Joey Campbell and Mitrovic all on there fledgling seasons with the Spartans but all of them I'm expecting to stay here if we can get Bacali back on a permanent deal I think he might be on a free in the summer so we're going to definitely look to keep him Stephanie he's the only ever Spartan to go past 100 appearances he's now on 102 no assist and no goals for the big centre back from France Villalba a lot of appearances off the bench for him but he's starting to become a little bit more of a key player for us he's had a couple really important goals this season he's now played 43 times and he's managed 12 goals and three assists Cardenius very little used here talk of him going into a player coaching capacity here at the Spartans though 87 appearances now 27 goals and 13 assists for him he's obviously not played in that many games this season which will be disappointing to him Others, Brian Pereira, he's obviously had a good season last season and he's done well in the games he's come on. He's played 59 times now and has got 31 goals and 12 assists, so he's got a decent record. Um, not many more appearances for the likes of Monoma and Yedlin, so we'll show you their career stats at the end of the season. Not really worth talking about them, really. Yatambara has now played 86 times, 7 goals and 8 assists. Yarmolenko has managed 54 appearances, 11 goals and 7 assists. And a little mention for Bazaar down the bottom, who's had a very good season. 25 goals there, as you can see. And 25 games, 1 goal and 3 assists. The other one who's been here for 3 seasons as a backup keeper is Lechenstein. He's now made 25 appearances for the Spartans over the course of those three seasons so let's crack on with the action then hopefully you like that to just update you with career stats obviously come the end of the season we will do that in a lot more detail 
and we will have probably an episode showing you all their career stats in a little bit more detail which I know you'll like to see. Who is fit today? Well, we said about Lechenstein. If he's available, he will be getting another game today. He is available, so he will. Bazaar will come in, even though Badu's on a red. Bazaar and Penner, definitely the chosen two in the middle. This is going to be a tough game at the Stadium of Light. They're a decent side. Um, Villalba will have to be content with a place on the bench today, I think. Brahimi's going to come onto the bench, though, because he's in good fat on a red. Monomer, Cardenius, not even on the bench today. Might surprise a few. Yeah, and Barr is going to get the gig instead of Badu. I think Badu's days are numbered as well. I think Badu and Yarmolenko definitely two departures if we can get good money for them in the summer. Um, along with Dicko and Melito and Buffon because we decided we don't want regens. I'm not sure about Silvon Distan. He's a little bit different because obviously he's very near the retirement age anyway. Um, big, big game against Sunderland. We only drew with these. We've got to try and keep this run going if we can. We're going to play in our yellow kit. Like I said, this is the last game before the big four Man City is the next game, and that could be a title decider. So you ain't going to want to miss that. Put that in your diary. Episode 87 of the SP Spartan series, I think it will be, will be the big live com against Manchester City, and that could be for the title. It really could. We beat them at the Etihad 1-0. Can we beat them at Spartan Park is going to be the key. Got a job to do here against Sunderland, though, first, to make it three wins in a row. Again, if we can end up beating these today, it will be three wins in a row. Actually, four wins in a row. Oof. <laughs> nearly a goal up. Poor defending there. Ran right around it. Minnow one side and then the other. And I thought Legendstein was going to be beaten. Good from Brooks. Very good from Brooks. Majika. Jerry and Bagu. Stand it up, Jerry. Petrovic! Oh! Thought it was in. Honestly, thought that was in. Oh, come on, ref. Brooks. Majit. Jerry and Bagu. Jerry and Bagu! Joel Campbell! What a finish from Joel Campbell. That's burst than that. Good play from Jerry and Bago, but Joel Campbell, useful signing in January. Him and Jeffrey Broomer have given us a little bit of spark in the second half, you've got to say. Given us an option. We've been able to change it. Good hit from Jerry and Back. What a great finish from Je Joey Campbell coming in. Look at that. A lot to do from there. That's burst than that, son. That really has. It's a great start here at the Stadium of Light. And Joey Campbell with his third in a Spartan shirt. We were unsure whether to spend the cash on him. But we have done. And he's going to be useful. Well, he is useful. So, 1-0 here after 19 minutes. Joe Campbell with the strike. Sunderland with a little bit of pressure on here and a corner kick now. No, it's not going to be an easy game. You expect them to have some of the ball. You need to deal with this. Good header out. No, that was never going in. You could tell that was going wide. If he did it with his left, I might have been a little bit more worried. But there's no way he was bringing that back with his right. Bizarre! Oh! Half expected the net to bulge that time. Jeffrey Broom, oh no. Not bringing it back from there, son. Unlucky Broomy. Just stood it up. He had big boys in the middle. Well done. That was a one for the team for Minna there. They were in. One for the team. No way he was getting past there, Van Arnholt. 
don't know, he did get booked. I don't think he did, amazingly. When you think they're going to get booked, you don't. Oh, that level. It was coming. You've got to say Sunderland have had a few chances. And Jack Rodwell with a goal. Brings them back level. We said this was going to be a tough game. Sunderland playing better than they should be in this year's Premier League. And the ball dropped and we didn't deal with it. Good header out. Someone should have been dealing with that. Majika was slow getting back. And this ball here was an easy one and a good finish from Rodwell. No goalie saving that. Just before the break, they're level. Big, big second half coming in this one, I think. Half time then. 1-1. One, one. All to play for here. In a very big second half at the Stadium of Light. Our goal came from the boot of Joey Campbell. Can't remember the last time Majika scored a goal. Long time ago. We won't make any changes just yet. We have got options. Quite a few of them off the bench. It's not like us to question the ability of Majika, but it's been a while since he struck. That's all we're going to say. Hopefully that will spur him into life. Here he is. Joel Campbell. Oh, trying to stand it up for Bruma. It had to have been a good one. He's not that tall. Good from Penna. Majika, lovely. Just round the corner. Good ball back to him. Can he get it? No. Oh. Jerry was nearly in. This could turn into a real tense second half. He already lost once on tip tying side. Against Newcastle. We don't want to lose here. Good defending. Very good defending that. Oh, and Jerry was nearly picking the pass for Mitrovic. It was on. One he should have made. And they're in. Good hands, Lechenstein. He's improved as a keeper since we've had him, it's fair to say. Really has. Bruma, Jeffrey, Jerry. Go, Jerry. Go, Jerry. Go, Jerry. Ball in Mitrovic, surely. Oh, how have you missed that, Mitrovic? He's got in there before the ball. Got in too close. Had to be a goal. I thought all along it was going to be a goal. Mitrovic has missed it. Couldn't get his head round the right angle. What a chance. Play from Jerry and Bagu. Nah, that's nice. Minna's giving it away. Who's there? Big Brooksy. Nice for Mitrovic. Go Jerry and back. Jerry and Bago confidently put away. Good play for Mitrovic. And Jerry and Bago with a big, big goal in a spotting shirt. Composed himself and just slotted it. He really did. Good play for Mitrovic. To be fair, that's great link-up play between the two strikers. And Jerry was in and God, his weight was on the shoulders here. Pressure was on. Took it calmly though, didn't he? He really did take that calmly. Big, big finish from Jerry. Goal number 35 in a Spartan shirt for the Nigerian. Good defending. Majika, lovely ball. Mitrovic. Joel Campbell. Oh, ambitious. Ambitious to say the least. Hoping the keeper might have got a hand and pushed it out. He had to nearly save it. It was a good effort. 15 minutes gone. It is time to look at the bench. Got to think of the big games ahead. Broomer out on his feet. That'll be Bicarli. Campbell out on his feet. 
That'll be Brahimi. The last change is a rest up for Majika, and we're bringing on. And we're not bringing on him in there. What are we doing? Bringing on Hector Villalba in there. Big changes, maybe you think we've only a goal up, but we've got to think of other games. We want Majika firing fit. He's not been on it lately. Hector Villalba's been very good, so it's not really a massive change. And another big header one there. The Carly. Bizarre loses out. Penna trying desperately to win the ball back for him. Brahimi, you've got to do a job here. Good header. Good from Penner as well. Hector Villalba. Go on, Mitrovic. Oh, got to hit it too. Good defending, to be fair. He made it very difficult for him, the defender. Had nowhere really to go with it. Side netting. He would do, could do the goal today. Campbell and Mbagu with the goals. Mino with another big header in there. Bizarre. Bizarre again trying to keep it. But Carly can't get there. This is Mina big from Mina. And then gives it away and then wins it again. Hector Villalba trying to thread it through a needle. Jerry and Bagu winning the crucial one. Standing it up, Mitrovic. Oh, couldn't get it. Bizarre. Hector Villalba, Jerry and Bagu, can he get there? No. Two minutes to go. We've done enough to hold on to this result. I'm hoping so. Been a tough game. Well in. Great tackle over there, remember? That's what it's all about. Ah, oh, won the ball, referee. Getting a bit through a yellow card for Ember, but he won the ball. He really did. Look at that. And put it into the melting pot. Two minutes of injury time. Get a big head on it, Minna. Get it out. Hector Villalba looking for the ball over the top. Has Mitrovic got enough? Oh, unlucky Mitrovic. There it is. What a big win. Massive win at the Stadium of Light. Sets us up for the four massive live comms that will no doubt dictate where this title goes. Seven games left. They may well be all live comms if there's something on them. That is a big, big win. We will stay top of the tree. Big second goal from Jerry and Bagu. Good performance from him. Man of the match, Minner at the back. Oh, I don't know, because he made a couple mistakes in amongst it. Brooks was outstanding for me on the left. Joel Campbell got the opening goal. Jerry and Bagu did have a good game. There's no doubt about it. We've won, and that all that matters, really, at the end of the day. Crucial, crucial win. See the other results then. Everton beat Stoke. Man United beat Swansea. Man City, I can't see them. They've beaten Cardiff 1-0. Hull have beaten Chelsea. And Southampton have thumped Liverpool. Arsenal can't win either. The Champions League berth is looking a certainty now. It's 16 points. We are not going to drop 16 points in seven games, surely, to someone. I think we can say we are in the Champions League next year. We are seven points clear of United. It's a two-horse race really now. We are only one behind on goal scored to Man City as well, which is pretty crucial. Let's just show you the bottom three as well. Cardiff, West Brom and Leicester looking like they might go through the trap door. Wouldn't mind those three going down. I'd like to see Aston Villa come back up to the Premier League, to be honest. They're not in the Premier League at the moment. It'd be good to see them come back up. Glad to see Everton. Lifting up the table. Can't believe they're so low down as that, really. But there you have it. Fourth place is still up for grabs between Liverpool and Arsenal. Chelsea drifting away, which is a surprise. 
but we are where we can only dream of being really we didn't think we were going to be that high up don't forget all you asking we have been on superstar for a fair portion of this season so there's no higher we can go it's just that we've built such a fantastic young team that are enjoying playing attacking football our defensive record is now the best in the league let me just say that We've been questioned about our defence in the past. It is now the best in the Premier League, only conceding 21 goals in 31 games, which is pretty impressive. Thanks for joining me, as always. Don't forget, it's the live comms coming up. Don't forget, the next game is against Man City. I'm sure you haven't done, but I'm just reminding you. Come back for that one. It's going to be monumental. Cheers, dudes. Stay safe.